Cows in the Matrix, how could that go wrong? It's Morningstar News. Welcome to the Cow Matrix. We think this is actually kind of cool, um, but we also see the not so cool side of things here. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit, I guess, as well. So this um, article on Kotaku is talking about an experiment where they basically put cows into virtual reality um, and show them um, nice images. Um, I don't know, pastures of grass and stuff like that, uh, what a cow likes <laughs> to see. Basically to keep their spirits up and um, see if they produce more milk. On the surface, we think that's pretty cool to see how they react, but also we understand people looking at this and saying, oh, that's sad, like, and the implications for being, oh, now you have a whole bunch of um, cows lined up with virtual reality headsets on, and they're really in really crappy conditions. So we, we can picture that and we understand that, um, but <laughs> we still think this is cool. <laughs> We don't expect this to go very far, honestly, um, but for animals, putting a VR headset on them and letting them experience something cool, we think that at a fundamental level is a cool thing to, to experiment with. Um, but we know the implications of what, um, what they're trying to do and everything like that, right? Um, so yeah. We thought that was an interesting article. So another quick thing uh, we wanted to take a look at was um, an article on the next web um, talking about brain computer interfaces. Um, and just at a, I guess, a high level, not going into the article, um, Neuralink, if you're familiar with that, but basically it doesn't have to be a physical connection either. It can be something you wear on your head that um, reads the your brain waves basically um, without getting you know into how all the different things work um, but uh, the idea is we can read and then eventually in the future be able to write um, I'm not sure about that second half of it um, how efficient that'll be or whatever um, we think about uh, more bio um, stuff um, helping with that rather than electronics. But I mean, if we can make it small enough, what's the difference, right? Um, so yeah, how the brain um, computer interface could make the matrix real, which, <laughs> you know, ties into the, well, the top article, the mood tricks. Do you believe we're living in a simulation? Um, and like, is the simulation so good that it looks real? And when we ask ourselves that question, it's like, no, but also doesn't matter. Like, if, if it's 100% perfect simulation of the real world, does it matter? <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's kind of what the article is getting into. Um, you know, this whole story with the Matrix. And I guess the story of the Matrix is, at, at a high level, is generally just understood by everyone, right? Um, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Um, we find those kind of social social knowledge, I guess you would call it, um, kind of interesting. Um, but we're going off on a tangent and we're just gonna start talking and having a good time. <laughs> but um, yeah, so brain computer interfaces, um, we were thinking about that this morning and then Google recommended us this um, article, but it'll allow um, what, what is called augmented intelligence, where we can communicate with computers faster. Um, you know, right now we're limited to the speed um, of a keyboard, right? Um, how fast we can type. But uh, if we can get that um, directly into our brain and send commands to technology um, straight out, um, that's the brain computer interface, right? And we start interfacing with um, computers and tech and <laughs> we all become cyborgs, right? Um, so yeah, just a couple of interesting articles. Um, we're curious what you guys think about, um, yeah, the whole cow situation, right? Um, putting cows into virtual reality to see if they produce more milk. Um, and 
you know, that's what it is on the surface, but then people, you know, your thoughts are going to go to, okay, so now we have, well, cow farms, um, but now they're just lined up with virtual reality headsets and you don't even have to put them out um, to grass or anything like that, right? Obviously, that's not the case. They still have to eat and everything, but um, right. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, we're curious more about that one than the real life matrix because we feel like um, the question, are we living in a simulation? Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's an interesting question to ask though. Um, so that's why we brought that for you. Um, just at our local looking into the matrix. Anyways, um, that's all we've got for you today and uh, take care.